Yep, welcome everybody. Welcome back to another episode of J Family Outdoors. Uh, got back last weekend from North Georgia on our second annual bear hunt, which was unsuccessful. I'm uh, heading out to my buddy's place. Man, I'm looking old. That lighting is not very flattering. I'm just gonna keep trying for a buck. Hopefully one will come out. But thank you all for joining. Please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, let's head out to the woods. Some people think that you need a big old truck to go hunting and stuff. And I used to think I was one of those people, or I was one of those people that used to think like that. But I've taken this Chevy Impala. Oh, this isn't really off-roading. It's just some dirt roads. But down here in South Georgia, you don't need a lot if you have access to land, even public land. I mean, there we go. All right, I like to turn myself around. So when it's time to go later, I just hop in the car and get out of here because the mosquitoes are going to be bad today. Let's head to the stand. Let's do it. I'm going to wrap me, wrap, 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 rattle me in a big old buck. There's definitely some hog sign. Yeah, there's hog sign all in here. I don't know if a buck will come in, but maybe I'll just shoot me a pig again. I just got out here and there was already a buck out here. Looked like a small one before I could get my, before I could get my uh, camera and everything set up. I think I might have spooked him off a little bit. I rattled him in, he came right up. I mean, he was within 10 yards. He's the only deer that I've seen out here though.
so I'm watching these deer and uh, it's kind of creepy. That one mama looks pregnant already. You can see how big her belly is. It's funny that they ate it. <clears throat> the trough feeder are closest to me for a while. And then they moved on to the further one. Super fun to watch though. <sighs> well, that was a cool evening sit. I've never rattled in a buck before. And I rattled in a buck tonight. That like makes me excited. Other than there was a, the five point, which I called in. Then there was a button buck and then three does came late. I could probably sit for another 10, 15 minutes, but I'm starving. And I wanna stop by the grocery store and get some steak to cook up tonight for Carly and I, cause we have a kid free weekend. So we're gonna go home cook some dinner, probably watch a Christmas movie, a Hallmark Christmas movie, one with a happy ending, and go to sleep. And I'm gonna come back out tomorrow evening, but um, my friend said that, he, I could tell that he had some road work done, and he, he's, we're supposed to get some rain, so he told me to uh, go to a different piece of property tomorrow. And so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna head out to a different piece tomorrow, and you know, this place, I don't know if the five point is like the, the, the big boy around here. Uh, he's just a little too small for me to shoot, so I'm gonna obviously let him go. Hopefully there's another big boy hanging around that other piece that my friends let me go, and I will probably see you in the morning. Hopefully with a little bit better luck. Good morning, y'all. It is just shy of seven o'clock getting first light, I gotta get out to the stand. I just got here, so hopefully we have a better morning. Uh, hopefully something comes out and I can get my first buck of the season at a different location that I am, um, that I was last night. Let's get on to the woods. It's kind of a boggy morning, 65 degrees, very humid. So that means the mosquitoes are out here with us. Well, I've been out here for about an hour. No action. Somebody's running dogs on an adjacent property. I could hear the dogs going for 30 minutes and then pow, pow. Got a couple, they got a couple shots off, so. Well, been out here about for an hour and a half. Still no action. The rain picked up a little bit. It's kind of supposed to be a rainy day. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much like the story of my hunting season. I just haven't had a lot of, I haven't had a lot of luck. I've put in a lot of time, I feel like, out in the stands and out in the woods. It's just one of those years. Well, <clears throat> I'm calling it a morning. It's still kind of drizzling, rainy. There's not much action. Gonna play it by ear. I was hoping to come back out later this evening, but <clears throat> I think it's supposed to be raining harder later, so I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I was sitting there bored, so I was looking at properties online and I found one actually just right around the corner. I'm gonna drive down there and see if I can take a quick peek at it before I start making any moves and going to actually walk the property and all that good stuff, so. 
I drove back out here and uh, about to take a look at this property. It's funny, I was sitting out in the stand this morning and I saw this new property that popped up literally right around the corner from where I was hunting. You know, it was like 75 acres, much closer than the last piece that I looked at. The other one was like an hour and a half away. This is about 35 minutes away from the house. So it's really not bad. It was worth looking at. So it's a nasty day and it's rainy, but actually that's kind of the best day to look at some property just to see where all the high spots are, where the low spots are. But uh, I've been on the lookout for a piece of property for a couple of years now, and I just haven't really found the right one. Uh, the, I don't think this is not like a timber investment. There's not much timber on this one. Um, it'll probably be sold more as a recreational piece. But yeah, that's it. So I'll, uh, I'll give you a quick update after I look at it, but I'm um, just sitting here waiting for everybody to show up.